from you, you Rock Foundation are here with us today. Yeah. So, uh, Joe, Jim, Slice, Hi. Jesse in the corner, who's the local rep. Uh, these guys, they're just going to give you a little chat about what they do, then they're going to introduce the band, and you guys are in here for the next 35 minutes or so. Okay? Over. Thank you. Cool. Joe, thank you, Mark. Woo. Mark. Wow, this is surreal for me. So, way before I started the U-Rock Foundation, which is like five years ago, way before that, I was an IMX fan. Before that, I was a Sneaker Pimps fan. And something I'm going to assume everyone here can agree on is the life-saving power of music. What other things can only do a little well, music does exceptionally well. In my humble opinion, it is the ultimate art form at cutting to our core. Direct line to the heart, to the soul, that allows us to uncork all those emotions we bottle up. And it's because of people like Chris that we can let lyrics speak when we don't have the words. And that is the beginning to opening up, to sharing our struggles. And that's the whole reason why the U-Rock Foundation exists. Yes, I'm an IMX fan, but more importantly, I'm a two-time suicide attempt survivor who used music to get into therapy, to get into medication, to open the doors to recovery. And I just hope you all take advantage of this because it is amazing that any band would offer something like this. But for IMX in particular, I think it's, it's, it's just wonderful. So please, I know it can be scary and intimidating to open up about something as intimate as mental health, as a mental illness if you have one, but you're never gonna get this chance again. If you have any questions, share them. And I, I'm, I'm honestly at a loss for words. This is wild to me that we have this opportunity. Uh, and without any further ado, let's bring Chris and Janine out here. Guys, you ready to join us? Wonderful. Hello. <laughs> I wish I could have recorded that.